2024-2025 Red Ribbon Ceremony at Liberty Elementary. We We will start the ceremony with the Pledge of Allegiance. Sofia Flores will start us off with the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by Ana Paola Huerta. Thank you. Now we will have our Liberty Eagle Pledge by Jacob Martinez. Liberty Eagle Pledge. Next, 
we have Ivana Garcia. to investigate speculated drug activity. The drug activity was believed, believed to include officers in the Mexican army, police, and government. These people were trying to send a huge supply of drugs into the United States. Kiki was the one who discovered, it, it discovered evidence that linked this drug activity to the Mexican army, police, and government. How scary that must have been to know that the people who were hired to protect the country of Mexico were the one, very ones responsible for sending drugs to our country, the United States. On Thursday, February 7, 1985, 37-year-old Kiki placed his badge and gun into his desk jar and left his office to meet his wife for lunch. However, he never made it to lunch with his wife that day. Five men appeared at the drug agent's side and shoved him into the car. That was the last time anyone but his kidnapp kidnappers would see him alive. One month later, Kiki Kamara's lifeless body was found. He left behind three sons. I know that you got a little bit of a history lesson right now, but a lot of you are actually covered in red garments right now. Why do we wear red, boys and girls? Do you know? Why do we wear red? Oh, because we say no to drugs. That's right, because we say no to drugs. Together we stand, boys and girls, and 
we know that there are lots of bad things around this world, but we stand together as a Liberty family because we recognize that we're going to make the best decisions in our lives day in and day out so that we can have a successful life, boys and girls. Thank you once again so much for your awesome behavior. I am going to pass off the microphone to Ms. Trevino so she can continue introducing all of what we're going to call our distinguished guests this morning. Thank you, boys and girls, for being so awesome. Thank you, Mrs. Hernandez, and thank you to our Liberty staff for being the best in the district. Like Mrs. Hernandez said, we cannot do this without a team effort. Our first guest speaker is Texas Ranger Joe Sanchez. Joe Sanchez, Texas Ranger. Next, 
We have Mr. Gay Balbuena and Casares and the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol K-9 unit to represent Eagle Pass, Texas. Hey, good morning, everyone. Oh, come on, guys. You can do better. Let's start one more time. Oh, it's better. It's better. You know what? That was pretty loud, but I really want to know how loud the Eagles can be. You guys ready? Not yet. Hold on. Hold on. So, with this next part, I'm going to need you guys to listen to me, all right? Everybody take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Good morning, Eagles. All right, I'm Border Patrol Agent Balbuena here on Partner, Agent Casares, and today we are here to talk to you guys about saying no to drugs. All right, now, before we get started, we are getting three volunteers, so raise your hand if you'd like to participate. Six graders, we're my six graders. All right, so as you can see, we have some volunteers, and what we're looking for is different ways to say no to drugs, okay? There is gonna be a, there is gonna be a time when somebody's gonna come up to you guys and they're gonna offer you drugs. And what are y'all gonna say? What are you guys gonna say? Good job. However, it's not always going to be that easy, all right? Sometimes a friend or a stranger, they're going to come up to you, they're going to offer you drugs, you guys say no, and then what? They're going to try to bully you, and they're going to try and insist into you guys doing drugs, all right? And that's what we call peer pressure. Say it with me, peer pressure? Yeah. That's for you sixth graders, all right? We're up. So we're going to demonstrate different ways to say no to drugs. Y'all ready? What's your name? Hey, Audrey. Uh, would you like to try some drugs? No. Okay. What about you? Would you like to try some drugs? Are you sure? Yes. All right. What about you? Would you like to try some drugs? No. I heard they're cool, though. No. All right, round of applause for a volunteer. Guys, so us border patrols, we gotta work day and night to be able to protect our borders, right? Gotta be able to protect y'all from bad people coming in, guys. Guys, keep it down, keep it down. Quiet down, guys, quiet down, quiet down, quiet down. But in order for us to be able to protect our borders, we need y'all's help. A way that y'all can help us out is by saying no to... Saying no to... Yeah, good, I like that. Not only that, guys, but in the Border Patrol, we have a lot of assets, right? We have ATVs, we have boats, helicopters, and canines. And who do you think we were able to bring today? Can anybody go? Right? So are y'all ready to see the dogs? Yeah. Alright, guys. Give it up to Asia Martino. And Asia Garza. Alright, guys. Good morning. Good morning, Liberty. Alright, much, much better. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Juan Garza. I'm a canine handler with the Hills Border Patrol. I've been a canine handler for roughly 13 years. So yes, you'll see you guys know, I was born in the late 1900s. Okay? I was born a long time ago. So with that being said, let me tell you a little bit about our dogs. 
when you guys go to San Antonio, you guys always see a guy, maybe not as chubby as I am, but they're always walking around and they're calling a leash, right? They're walking a dog. They're walking and walking and all you see is just a dog and a person and a handler just walking around. Our dogs, that whole time they're working, at, they're at the checkpoint, they're actually working. They're looking for drugs. Now let me tell you one thing, we don't give drugs to our dogs. We train them to smell drugs. So they smell the drugs and then we give them this right here. This, this is called a reward object, a toy. A toy, so this is their favorite toy in the world. Once they find drugs, that's the only time we give them that toy and we play with them. That's the only time we do that. Now, how do the, how do this dog know he's gonna be walking around smelling cars and they're gonna be like, okay, you know, they're walking and smelling and smelling and they can smell a thousand times better than we can. Okay? A thousand times. So they have to one thing. If you go in into Pizza Hut, if you close your eyes, your parents say to you, you don't know where you're going until you close your eyes, people. Close your eyes, you're going to Pizza Hut, and as soon as you walk into Pizza Hut, what do you know? What, how do you know you're at Pizza Hut? Because it smells like pizza, right? And then you open your eyes and you're like, oh, I'm a Pizza Hut or Peter Piper. Nice. Well, our dogs, if we take them into Pizza Hut or Peter Piper, they're going to smell every single ingredient of the pizza. So they're going to smell the dough, they're going to smell the tomato sauce, they're going to smell the pepperoni, they're going to smell black olives, bacon, sausage, whatever you guys like to put in your pizza, that's what the dog is smelling. So, that being said, so when he's at the checkpoint working, he's going to be smelling hard. And he's going to be like, smelling, 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 and he's like, oh, person, 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 tortillas, person, carne asada, person, rubber, person, wait a minute. I smell drugs. He's gonna stop. And he's gonna look at me. He's gonna, hey, I think there's some drugs in here. And I'm gonna be on this side. And I'm like, are you sure? He's gonna look at me again. And he's gonna be like, yeah, I'm sure. Are you positive about that? And he, then he's gonna look at me and he's gonna sit down and he's gonna be like, yes, I'm telling you there's drugs in here. So that's when I go up to him and then I give him his toy, his reward object, and then I get to play with him. So with that being said, I'm going to pass it on to my supervisor, Pepe Martinez, so he can explain you a little bit even more into that. Good morning. Good job, guys. I don't want to, we're not going to do that good morning again because I want you guys to save your energy because we're going to do something here in a little bit. So, I think you got to say, I'm a canine supervisor, I work at the real sector, I used to be a canine handler for over 13, 14 years. Now, I don't have a dog, but I still take care of the canine program. Um, so, do you guys want to see the dogs, right? Everybody like, Where's the dog? Okay, so, listen guys. So this is gonna, how it's gonna work. He's gonna come in, you're gonna run the dog, and you're gonna be, Agent Gatto is going to take out the toy, like this, he's going to be sitting down. We're going to give him the toy, as soon as he grabs the toy, everybody in here is going to do the Mickey Mouse toy. Everybody. So wait, so here we go, one, two, three. Wow.
Okay, that's it, you guys. We're gonna have a little competition right now, okay? So, what grade are you? First grade. What grade? Fourth grade. Your first grade? Nice. Sixth grade. You? Second. Second. Okay, we got a little bit of everything. So, here you go. So, listen, listen guys. We're gonna see who does the best thing in house boys. So, you guys are Okay, uh, what's your name? Okay, you ready? Okay, this is how it's gonna go. Oh, such a good boy. Yeah, you get it. But you gotta do a new mouthful. Oh, you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it. Ready? There you go. He's trying to take it out slowly, and then Pax has to remain seated until Agent Pax, Agent Garza, sorry, 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 Garza Pax, you guys kind of look the same. So, until you got, he's going to get the toy. You see, he's like, no, I don't want that, I don't want that toy, because that was the one that came out from there. I don't want this. So he waits. I think we waited long enough, all of us, Mr. Okay, guys. 
And she really, really, really gets excited. She really, she loves to work. So she's gonna come out here. She's gonna be pulling Agent Garcia. He's gonna be all over the place because she just wants to work. So with that one, with Ira, I do need for everybody to remain quiet, okay? Ira is a Belgian Malinois, and she's about a year old. She's a brand, brand new dog. And what we did right now, we moved the bags. Why? because we don't want it to cheat. Because right now, then, AJ Gatsa and then Pax and I are gonna talk and hey, it's a lot of bad people, you know? We can't do that, right? <laughs> hey, but it's pretty cool what they do for this little toy, right? Yeah! How many of you guys want one of these toys? Teacher, if you got a bunch of them at a dollar, if you guys are interested, for Christmas, you know, they're just a little rough and hold. Is he ready or no? Okay, here comes Ira. That's how crazy she is, because she doesn't want to work. You see, so now, I need you guys to go, because you're trying to get ready, because you're trying to get ready. So, I'm going to be quiet. Okay, so this is the first one. Okay, so we're trying to get her ready to do more presentations. So that's why you guys are having to sound right now. Because this is a really large crowd, and you need to help us out. Because this is a really large crowd, and you need to help us out. Because this is a really large crowd, and you need to help us out. Me walking around and throwing everything and trying to get her engaged on the street for the new way.
They're going to share a couple of words with you. Um, they have a football game today, so you can go out and support them today. It's a very exciting game. Uh, they're going to play against United, and it's a very important game. Uh, some of you I know we have number four, Javier Barrera. He's the quarterback for the Eagles. does this amazing catches with one hand. And then up is Jose Hernandez, known as AKA Pepe. We also have Sebastian Velasquez. He's also from Liberty. We have Luis Flores, Anthony Pañuela, I'm sorry, Anthony Pañuela, and Alex Reese, and Chris is also going in. Good morning, Eagles. I think you can do better than that. Good morning, my name is Pepe. I play football, baseball, and track, but I'm, right now I'm a receiver for the Eagles, number one, and I came to talk to y'all about being drug free. Being drug free is all about surrounding yourself with positive influences, finding healthy activities you enjoy, and talking to someone you trust if you ever feel tempted. Remember, taking care of yourself is the best choice you can make. Your body is your temple and always take care of it. Thank you. Hi, good morning. My name is Alex Cruz. I'm on the varsity football team. Staying drug free is a crucial avoiding addiction and health issues. It allows me to fully commit my passions like football without distractions. By saying no to drugs, I prioritize my future and all the opportunities that come with it. I have more energy, better focus, and a clear mind to excel both athletically and academically. Plus, it helps me build a strong relationship with my family, friends, and teammates. Staying away from drugs keeps me in control of my life and decisions. Boosts my self-esteem and sets a great, great example for others. Go Eagles! Good morning. My name is Samuel Palera. I play football and run track. Today I want to talk about overcoming peer pressure. We all face situations where we feel pressure to do something just because others are doing it. It can be tough, but it's important to stay true to ourselves. Firstly, know your values and stick to them. When you have a clear sense of what's right for you, it's easier to say no to things that don't align with your beliefs. Secondly, practice saying no confidently. It's okay to stand your ground and refuse something that makes you feel uncomfortable. Surround yourself with supportive friends who respect your choices. Having a strong support system can make a big difference. Lastly, remember that it's okay to walk away from situations where you feel pressure. Your well-being is more important than fitting in. Stay strong and true to yourself and your and you'll find that overcoming peer pressure becomes much easier. Thank you. Hello, Eagles. My name is Mr. Swedish. I play football. I also play, I also play, other, also play other sports from a young age. I'm joining multiple sports. It's taught me the importance of teamwork and discipline, whether it was football, or baseball, or track. Each sport has to has provided a unique chance and challenges and opportunities to grow. And just don't don't get mixed up with the wrong time and just avoid talking around and anything like that. Go Eagles. Good morning everybody. My name is Sebastian Velasquez and I play for the Eagle Pass High School football team. Um, I'm honored to be here today at the Liberty Red Ribbon Rally to speak about the importance of staying, staying drug free, staying drug free and making positive choices. I've been part of the football team for a while now and sports have had a huge impact on my life. Being involved in sports like football has taught me discipline, teamwork and the value of hard work. It's also kept me focused on my goals and away from negative influences like drugs. One of the biggest challenges for many students is dealing with peer pressure. For me, sports have been a powerful way to stay grounded and focused. 
I meant to surround myself with positive people who pushed me to be my best. When faced with peer pressure, I remem remind myself of goals on and off the field and how making bad choices could take that all away from me. Say no to drugs. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Anthony Paniello. I play for the Eagle Pass football team. Uh, I like to start off with uh, sports made me a better teammate and a better person by being coming more disciplined and trustworthy. One of the uh, good ways to being drug free is doing what you do and and love what you do and not going with the wrong crowds. The advice for y'all is to never give, on, give up on your dreams and pursue with it with all your heart. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Manny and I play football and baseball at the high school. And I just wanted to say that to choose the right crowd you hang out with and you know what's right to do. And just stay drug free. Thank you. Hello, my name is Wells Rocky. I play football, I run track. Uh, well, stay away from drugs. Surround yourself with positive influences. Keeping busy with training and competitions can also help you stay focused on your goals and away from harmful substances. Remember your health and well being are your top priorities. Good morning, Liberty Eagles. My name is Kristen Reese, and I'm a softball player for the Lady Eagles softball program. I am really excited to talk to all of you guys today. As a softball player, I know how important it is to stay healthy and strong. To be the best I can be, I have to make good choices every day, and that means staying away from drugs. Drugs can hurt your body and your mind, and they can stop you from doing the things you love. For me, that's playing softball and being part of an amazing team. When I stay drug free, I can run faster, hit harder, and have fun with my teammates. Remember, you can be anything you want to be if you make the smart choices to stay active, eat healthy, and say no to drugs. You got big dreams ahead of you, and stay drug free will help you reach them. Thank you for having me, and again, stay drug free.
I have learned many lessons from cheerleading, but most importantly, I have learned leadership, responsibility, and teamwork. As a captain, I learned leadership in becoming a role model not only for my team, but for the school. I have also learned responsibility, having to make routines each weekend and having to send the agenda to each, every event for my team. Cheerleading has taught me teamwork, incenting, communicating with each other, and being there for each and every member when they need a helping hand. Thank you, and I will now pass the mic to my friend Miranda to inform you guys on being drug free. Thank you. I want to sitting where you guys have been sitting right now. And now that I'm older, I'd like to give you all advice on how being drug free has helped me throughout school. First off, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm involved in many activities, such as cheer, band, 4-H, NHS, water warriors. And all these activities have played a significant role in shaping my life. Now being part of all these sports and clubs has taught me many valuable lessons. They have shown me the power of teamwork, the power of discipline, and the joy that comes from achieving goals with others. These experiences have also shown me the importance of making healthy choices and staying drug-free. Now, being drug-free means you get to enjoy your life fully, having fun with your friends, doing well in school, and staying healthy overall. These positive experiences, when doing activities you love, can help us resist all of these negative influences. Now, I have been peer pressured before, just like many of you might in the future. Now, in those moments, I've stopped and thought of the support of all my friends and family and how much love they've given me. Would they be proud of me if I did drugs? No. no. Now, this is why it is important to surround yourself with people who respect your choices and to remember that it's okay to say no. So what is it okay to say? No. Now, to everyone, my advice is simple. Find activities that inspire you and fill your life with positivity. Stay true to yourself and make choices that reflect your values. Help create a community that supports each other in staying healthy and drug free. Now thank you for having me and let's continue to make positive choices every day. Stay drug free just like me. And go Eagles! Okay, now to ensure that you guys are staying drug free, we are all gonna do a chat together. So, we will say, hey, hey, what do you say? And you guys all repeat super loud, be drug free. Are y'all ready? Yeah. You ready to say? Okay, ready? Hey, hey, what do you say? Stay drug free. Thank you guys for having us here today. Thank you so much to our former Liberty students. Your words are touching and very inspirational to our students and our staff. We're so proud of you and keep up all the hard work. At this time, we're going to have our Liberty Eagle cheerleaders present.
we have our Liberty Eagle dance team. At this time, I would like to congratulate our Red Ribbon Coloring Contest winners. Throughout the week, we have had our students make posters and have coloring contests with our first, second, third, and fourth grade students. From first grade in Miss Contreras class, the winner of the coloring contest is Ivana Escareño. In second grade, Ms. Castell's class, we have Isabella Estevez. In third grade, we have with Ms. D. Ortiz, Gloria Ortiz. And in Ms. M. Ortiz's class, we have Joy Rabago. Thank you guys for your hard effort, and we will be giving you guys prizes Monday morning. At this time, I would like to thank you, our student council sponsors, Ms. Sonia Ruiz and Ms. Alma Mendoza, our cheer sponsor, Ms. B. Ortiz, and our dance sponsor, Ms. Maribel Garcia. Thank you to everyone who came to our ceremony, and I will have Ms. Hernandez with her closing remarks. Boys and girls, once again, we want to thank you so much for being on your best behavior. Once again, I hope that you got the message loud and clear, boys and girls. Next time, hopefully it won't ever be that you find yourself in that situation. But if you do, if you are offered drugs, what are you going to say? Remember, boys and girls, to stay drug free. You're going to have a wonderful, successful life in front of you. Thank you so much for all of our guests. Again, Ms. Trevino, everybody who coordinated, please remain seated. We will start exiting by grade levels here shortly, but we need everybody to stay seated. Thank you so much. <laughs>